All right, what's up, everybody? This is Spaniard, Northwest Fight Scene, sitting here at Next Level Gym with trainer Greg Thompson and pro fighter Brendan Barrett. Brendan, you came a long way from New Jersey all the way over to the Northwest to a new gym training. Uh, you got a fight coming up, but before we get into that, let's talk about why you came over here and how you came to meet Greg and train at Next Level. Well, uh, basically, I was in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. I was tra tra traveling all over the place, training at a few different places. I wasn't really getting the uh, consistency I needed. I wasn't getting any sparring in. I was getting some great individual Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, you know, Judo, and some boxing, but not quite great MMA. And I wasn't getting that, that last element to really put it together. Uh, I had a mutual friend with Greg, and they got me in touch with him. Uh, first time I spoke on the phone with him, I just knew that's what I had to do. It was literally about two and a half weeks before uh, my fight. Just didn't say a word to anyone, packed the bag, jumped on a plane, came out here, and uh, just to say the results paid off, I uh, walked through my opponent. Now, what that, what's that like as a fighter to give up everything and go to a whole other side of the world and train? Uh, it, it was it was pretty tough because you know when you hit rough spots, you don't have the people you know that are there you know all the time to support you. When you have a large group of friends, I have some really good close knit friends out here that have been really helpful and supportive. And uh, you know, but the other side of it is I didn't have all the other distractions. You know, you can have good distractions and also bad distractions. Yeah. Even a lot of your friends, you know, calling you up and this and that, wanting to see you when you're training for a fight, that's a good distraction, but nonetheless, it's still a distraction. So it was really good to just completely walk away from everything, as hard as it was, and just come out here. And, uh, you know, I walked in, and, uh, you know, after a couple of days, it just felt like home here. Now, Greg, talk about your experiences with Brendan and training with him. Uh, Brendan, like he said, came to me a while back before his last fight um, and wanted to get a little bit more of a complete uh, package put together. For his MMA training. So, um, uh, Brendan's been great. He's a very uh, focused and dedicated athlete. Um, he brings a lot of things to the table for his weight class. They're uh, uh, kind of unique, especially for the heavyweight. He's very athletic, he's very quick and explosive, has really good endurance, and um, especially as a heavyweight, he hits really hard. And all it was really coming down to is uh, Brendan has a lot of experience, uh, the, the base skills are there, there's a lot of fine tuning. So now you've worked with a lot of really good fighters, a um, ton of really good guys, Lieben, Nate Quarry, uh, just a few. Um, talk about your plan for him as a fighter. Uh, the basic, you know, basically it's just getting him fights and getting him, keeping him fighting consistently on a win streak. Um, the ultimate goal is the high profile ones, uh, the UFC, uh, you know, and, and some of the, the bigger shows that are along the way, you know. You get a lot of good promotions like Shine Fights and things like that that are really uh, springboards to leave the big show. Um, even so far as you know, if they have a heavyweight season again, like the Ultimate Fighter, I think I think Brennan really can compete with any of those guys. Now you have a fight coming up, uh, October twenty third, Taj Mahal. Um, this is a, a heated fight for you. You have some little bit of stuff going on in the background, some some went uh, Tell us a little bit about some of the turmoil in the background. Uh, yeah, usually I'm a you know. For the most part, I'm very respectful, you know, especially of all my opponents. You know, it's a sport. I'm there to compete. You know, it's not like a personal thing. I was actually uh, out here in Oregon training for uh, my last fight, and I was actually walking into the gym, and my phone rang, and it was a promoter calling me up, and he's like, "What'd you do to Randy Smith?" And I was like, "Who's Randy Smith?" And he kept saying, "He's like, oh, this guy's saying he'll fight you for free. He just wants to beat the, you know, out of you, and you know, he just wants to fight you." And I, I had no clue who he was, and I asked him, "I was like, what are you paying?" And the offer was almost non-existent, and I said, yeah, no thanks. I was like, I gotta fight in a week anyway. And then I just kind of went on a little bit more, I found out who he actually was. I mean, you know, not to knock him, but when I found out who he was, and this guy of all people was calling me out, I took it pretty personally, and uh, let's just say the rest is kind of history in the present right now. <laughs> so now, you, you've you got that, now you signed a fight, you guys are fighting the Taj Mahal October 23rd. Yeah. Um, ta I mean, Besides that, now you see him as an opponent that you're going to fight. Talk about matching up with you stylistically. Um, honestly, I don't. I mean, I don't. I, it's it's hard to say, you know, without sounding you know pompous. But I mean, seriously, I don't think he brings anything to the table. He doesn't belong in the same arena, let alone the same cage as me. Um, he has no speed in his hands. He has no power. He has. It looks like almost no technique. Yeah, he's had like 18 fights now, but they've all been mainly against 0 and 1 guys, 0 and 0, 0 and 2. He fought one legit guy or two legit guys recently and just got smashed. I mean, he has no takedowns for me. He's got no takedown defense. He's got no ground game. And, I mean, seriously, he got into MMA to lose weight. I got into MMA to fight and hurt people. So, 
I mean, that just kind of tells you what our two different mentalities is. So I think he's just trying to make a name off himself, all the exposure I've been able to generate for myself by fighting me. You know, his name will get out there, but uh, I don't know how much of a career he's going to have after I get in there because I'm a little upset. Coach, what are your thoughts on this fight? It's a great fight for Brendan, you know, especially when the guy doesn't bring anything to the table that he can't handle or he hasn't seen before. So it's just, Brendan's a well-conditioned, well-prepared athlete, and that's always going to be tough, you know. But if my guys are focused and dedicated, they, they'll, they'll, they have potential to beat anybody. So this guy better, better be ready. For, better bring his A game because he's going to do that. Awesome. Well, um, anything else, anybody you'd like to thank for this, uh, for the training and preparation for this fight? Uh, just especially, you know, first and foremost, Greg, next level, Jeremy, even, you know, Evan, you know all, the, all the guys, the trainers here, you know, the, uh, the, the teammates here, you know, they come in for sparring, you know, they're not getting paid, they're getting hit, and I've been fought in about a year, so, you know, just basically all the training partners, the coaches, you know, on a personal level, you know, my friend Tammy Brooks has really been helping me out, you know, being hospitable, helping me out with a place to stay, and making sure I got food, because I'm a big guy, I eat. You know, and helped me get the training and whatnot. And you know, just had a lot of people stepping up. You know, it was a big change for me sparring three, four times, sometimes a week, as opposed to sometimes twice for a fight. So it's been great. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for the interview, and um, good luck on your fight coming up. Uh, anybody else? Anything else? Uh, nah, basically. You got a right website? Now. Anybody can Oh, yeah, up? actually. You got uh, a website, don't you? Websites, you yeah, that. it's, it's almost up. Hopefully, Tell in the next couple of days, it'll be brutalbrendanbarrett.com, you know, and you can search me on. You know, the networking sites, Facebook, MySpace. And I know Next Level's got a website or some place to get it, right? www.nextlevelmma.com. All right, you heard it there. Next Level, Brutal Brendan Barrett, Spaniard, Northwest Fight Scene. Thanks, guys.